fears will all the wait will be worth or not and will will should be really celebrate the marks which we score or should we really wait for the verdict of the supreme court or not and there are other part of the people who didn't qualify hoping praying crying to god saying like we need reneet or we need the cut off mark to be reduced and many such things are going on guys i know it is a emo- emotionally down time for every one of you so let's get started guys so let's uh, let's discuss the possibility of conducting a reneet uh, see usually neat and any other uh, competitive examination across india it is conducted by nta and uh, nta is a organization which is under directly central government next if you take uh all the neat speculation that happened in past few weeks and few uh, in the past month is that in many centers the question paper were leaked in many centers the stu- students uh, question answer sheet were filled by the faculties and there were many 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 other allegations of this neat which is still we don't know is true or not and there were few crime suspect who were captured by the local police but right now the situation is all such cases are handed over under the cbi so if you see guys the second most important thing is the cbi comes under central government and almost everything is linking to the central government so what will be the decision of central government will the central government will the nta will the cbi come to a conclusion so that the supreme court will pass a clear verdict based on all the evidences that has been co- collected by the cbi regarding this neat scam and the regarding this neat atrocities so we can't tell anything guys we we really can't predict anything but with all the dots we can link few things and we can conclude we can just come to a conclusion whether there is a possibility of reneet is there or not this video is basically uh, this video uh, reflects my perspective towards reneet according to me what i feel is see if a government or if a supreme court whoever it is if they are going to plan for a reneet just think of the money resources everything which they need to spend think of the time people employment and how long it will take for an exam to be conducted and the exam result to be announced and uh, next thing will be like already counseling is starting on july 6 which means what whoever have applied for counsel they have to cancel and there will be a re exam and re counseling in further sessions and there were few students among the 1563 students 50% of them appeared in reneet already for the second time so such kids have to apply for a third time think about the trauma that they will be going through there will be really few genuine candidates who had been given genuine grace mark because of loss of time but those people will ha- already have taken the test for the second time and they ha- again have to take it for the third time think guys just think do you really think this will be possible and there are prayers of hundreds and thousands of people who didn't qualify need just waiting waiting for a reneet waiting for the cut off mark to reduce so that they will be at least eligible to go and study mbbs abroad so all this together guys one thing i can conclude there is no chance or there is very less chance for reneet it is 
मियर टू इम्पॉसिबिलिटी बट इन चांस लेट्स थिंक लाइक इन चांस मिराकल हैपन्स देर इज री नीड वॉट आर द थिंग्स वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट द कट ऑफ टू गो डाउन वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट ऑल the percentile to go down as well and this will increase the chances of people uh, with 300 to 700 range to get a seat in good university good governmental university and uh, there will be some hope for students between 400 to 500 marks all these things are possible and those who didn't qualify they can finally qualify at least they can get into abroad education and people can come to a conclusion but until july 8th everything is uncertain this uncertainty is only thing that is prevailing so far so long in these past few weeks so i really feel sorry for all the students who genuinely prepared and uh, who are affected because of that this scenario i hope like people who are planning to uh, prepare for the 2025 like the people who are planning to take drop or the people who are uh, right now in their 12th standard or preparing for their uh, need i just tell them to be very strong and uh, we can't predict how the for, for further exams are going to be and what are the physical and mental challenges we are about to get exposed to so guys be mentally prepared be mentally very strong because uh, the exams are become traumatizing as you know there were many exams that were cancelled the ugc exam the neat pg like literally tomorrow was our exam the before day night we were announced that the exam is cancelled and still now there is no update regarding that even many of us who were preparing for neat we are in a great trauma we are in a great difficulty to whether how to prepare uh, without knowing the date of examination still now as on today we have concerning very worrisome that why is this happening to india indians and why is it happening in india like we have been producing the world's most important most uh, uh, top most doctors are mostly from india we have the, such a passion passion towards mbbs we are all passionate i myself have cleared my plab one examination and i'm waiting for my plab two we are all passionate to do something in our field to achieve something in our field but why is india not getting why is the indian government or india not concentrating on this things these are all sensitive issues because uh, our mental health is very important if we are going to go into some kind of trauma because of exams it can push us to many uh, unknown decisions which is uh, which might harm our own self so that is the reason guys i'm telling you all to be very strong whatever the decision whatever the situation is try to face it boldly like a warrior and uh, don't worry guys my prayers and all our prayers are with you guys and uh, let's hope whoever wanted me to hope i'll just wish like i hope your wish comes true whoever didn't want meet and uh, reneed and whoever is happy with your marks i'll just say all the best to all of you guys and whoever didn't qualify praying and waiting like to qualify so that you can go to mbbs abroad guys it is very very difficult i don't think the cut off marks is going to reduce anytime sooner but if it will reduce if miracle will happen all the best for your abroad admissions as well as guys it doesn't matter where you study make sure you are going to be the only person who is going to bring the patient back to his home not to graveyard you have to prepare yourself as such a doctor whom you will send all your patient home not to graveyard this is the thing you should have in your mind guys and i would like to finish this video with one complete this video in my perspective of uh, uh, guidance to students with their mark rate see students less than 400 marks just leave hopes of getting any seat in any governmental institutions and if you have any like if you can't afford a a or b or c cat uh, seats then i'll ask you guys to go for mbbs abroad this is a good option the people who are students between 400 to 500 mark it is really a very difficult run guys i don't think like you'll be able to secure a government seat so i will either suggest you to go for another long term maybe next year very soon you will be able to reach 500 plus target and you can uh, focus on uh, 
next year need but you should also be mentally prepared for such need scams and allegations because we don't know what will happen when so we can't predict a, a smooth exam next year as well because this need thing happens every year one thing or the other comes out so 400 to 500 people just make sure either go for mbbs abroad or try to take a long term based on your budget based on your family and financial conditions people who are above 500 i think you guys can wait for counseling and then go ahead with any other decisions because because there are chances that you guys can get a ma uh, get uh, into some good uh, institutions and also now that that uh, 1560 students grace marks are taken off and 50% of them have appeared in a read need and another 50% have opted to retain their original marks i think you will have a good shot in getting into a good university or good medical college uh, guys and uh, let's hope because uh, let's I'm, I'm not sure uh, for the unqualified people I'm not sure like if the need cutoff marks will reduce or not but because of this re-need which happened second time for the 50% of 1563 students I don't know it will if it will have enough M impact on the percentile so that the percentile might um, first percentile might get reduced or will there be any uh, decrease in the cutoff mark i'm not sure guys i don't think it is possible mathematically or practically but let's hope let's hope what uh, let the results get announced let the counseling start and let's wait for a big day july 8th what the supreme court decides because supreme court is the highest authority which can change anything and every thing at moment at the moment so let's wait for their verdict and uh, let's hope for the best guys all the best don't worry we are all with